Okay, it's Sunday evening. Uh, still in Electra, Texas. Um, went to uh, First Baptist Church. Uh, Ryan, I forgot his last name, is the pastor. Um, really didn't have a whole lot of contact with the pastor. I did sit in his class tonight, and uh, he preached a really good sermon today. Uh, we studied Hebrews tonight, and uh, he preached from Colossians. <laughs> Jonathan. <laughs> uh, John, uh, Jonathan uh, Smith at, at First Baptist uh, LaGrange just finished the long series, I would say a long series, he finished a short series on Colossians. And so it was kind of funny to revisit Colossians 3 today. Uh, he did a great job, talked about um, uh, family, togetherness, and um, um, you know, of course Colossians 3 covers, you know, husbands taking care of their wives and wives submitting to their husbands. I know that's a dirty word in today's society, but but uh, he, pre he did a really good job uh, talking about it and talking about... Um, uh, obedience and order in in the in in any family, including God's family. And uh, Sunday school. Let's see. We talked about uh, what did we talk about? Mm, we were in we were in Matthew. I forget which chapter we were in. Oh, the model prayer. We talked about the model prayer and a real relationship with God and how the model prayer is. Um, uh, um, a form it wasn't meant to be the actual prayer all the time and that uh, God pursues a personal relationship with us and um, <clears throat> had a lot of chances but if you know me you know I have a hard time keeping my mouth shut in any Bible study uh, I like to share because God's given me something <laughs> you know um, I, I've experienced a lot in 25 years as a Christian and coming from nothing to to uh, having a um, growing understanding of the Bible um, I think if God gives you something you should share it uh, there's people out there who need to hear that, that that you know there's there's always someone behind you who needs help up and help on and uh, sharing the gospel sharing the good news sharing the word sharing uh, uh, your relationship with God is a is a good and helpful thing for for young for young Christians and old Christians you know sometimes uh, seeing God working in other people is is exciting too you know people people it's always good to know, as a, as someone who's been a children's pastor before, it's always good to um, see people behind you pass you up. You know, it's always good to see uh, people behind you come along, however you want to put it. Um, you know, uh, uh, I pray that every disciple God uses me to uh, reach does better than me. They start from where uh, I've learned from my mistakes in the beginning and and take that knowledge and and grow even faster bigger taller whatever however you want to put it you know even closer to god um quicker and uh that's that's my goal in life not that not that i've made it but but man if you want to step on me on your way up and i don't mean that in a negative way but man if you want to learn from my mistakes and and uh and not make them and still grow close to god i think that's a good thing and i do that with other people i see other people share their mistakes and share what they've learned from their mistakes and um, and that's helped me tremendously. Um, so anyway, uh, worship traditional. It was a little odd for me. Uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know those old hymns. It's so funny. How is it that the new stuff comes so easy to me, but the old stuff, that timing, <laughs> the timing of their music back then was really hard. But at least with the hymn, you have uh, notation. You got you know uh, notation. You got the, the the actual printed music to to see where it's going. Um, and I can sight read music a little bit. So uh, anyway, um, man, what a great church, really. The people make the church. Uh, it's not the building. Uh, um, it's uh, you know not the pastor. Not that the pastor doesn't have a big part in building people up and equipping the saints. But uh, really, it's a family, and you know, uh, uh, to see the family um, being who God called them to be and, and see, recognizing each other. You know, that's the other thing. You ever been in a town where there's a family and you can recognize someone from that family because they look alike? Mm, Christians should be that way too. <laughs> People should recognize us because we act somewhat alike. We have the same rules. We have the same boundaries. We have the same uh, love for people. And uh, man, I recognize Jesus in this place. Uh, I'm at First Baptist Electra. Uh, I sent the the pastor an email letting him know that I was about seven hours early for church and asking if they, he would mind if I uh, if I parked in the parking lot and slept in my little trailer and he uh, came to me right before the sermon he said oh you're the guy who emailed me I was like yeah I hope you don't mind he's like no absolutely it's our pleasure 
And uh, so uh, we, we had good church today. Went to eat with uh, one of the people here at a Mexican restaurant. I forgot the name of it. But uh, came home, uh, took Sophie out for a little short walk. So she did her business, uh, laid down for a nap, got up and went to Bible study. And that's when we studied Hebrews. And uh, had a good time in the Bible study. The pastor does a good job. Uh, he's pretty thorough. I like expository, you know, and don't get me going on expository preaching, expository preaching, or expository preaching, uh, teaching is, uh, I, I, I think, uh, underrated and uh, um, underutilized in the church today. You know, I, I love secret church where you just take a whole book and go all the way through it at night. Uh, but uh, we didn't do that tonight. We went through chapter 11, I believe, or chapter 10. <clears throat> this is the chapter before the 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 great faith chapter and uh had a lot of good conversations about you know uh, uh the difference between the old law and the new law and how the i think that's sophie scratching her. oh she's wanting to get in the sleeping bag i hung the sleeping bag up so anyway after church uh um they were asking you know where are you going to go what are you going to do and uh as i was telling they were making up their mind that they weren't going to let me out in the weather and uh i have to say i didn't put up too big of a fight uh you could tell i'm in the barn uh i'm high and dry and warm and and uh making some slight repairs on the trailer got somebody coming to get me in the morning to go uh, uh pick up some supplies to finish making some other repairs and um uh, looking forward to it real nice guy he was in my sunday school class and uh, he was real quiet and apparently he wasn't feeling well because uh, later on, everybody was like, I wonder what, what what was wrong with him today. He's normally so talkative. And uh, so anyway, he came back tonight, and he was uh, obviously feeling better, which is funny, because when I heard he might not be feeling well, I was praying for him, because something about him I really like. Um, uh, anyway, um, and shine the light wherever God puts you. Uh, wherever God, you know, wherever you're at is ordained by God. So you, man, you just speak the word and speak His will into people's lives, and uh, seek ye first the kingdom, and all these things will be added to you. Uh, really been, really been uh, bouncing around in my head and my heart lately. Uh, I, I know I'm flawed, but I'm seeking the kingdom. Uh, I know that I'm probably not the best for any job God's called me to, but I'm the one, and. Understanding that um, nothing good comes without a partnership with God. That uh, what he calls us to uh, always requires partnership with him. And in that partnership, it's uh, uh, there's a cooperation with his people. And, uh, uh, you know, you're not an island. You're not by yourself. And it's not just you and God, but it's a family. And um, <clears throat> so anyway, I wanted to, well, I'll be able to put this out until... Um, I get to a different town with some internet. I have absolutely no internet here, so you're going to be hearing this way late. And I'm sorry if you're worried about me. Uh, I'm uh, I'm okay. I'm praying that nobody worries about me right now, because uh, I'm uh, probably in the most comfy spot I've been in a while. You know, uh, since since uh, for a week. How funny! I show up at a church and I'm in a good spot. <laughs> show up at a church and I'm in a good spot. So uh, Sunday, I guess, is God's way of saying, like, yeah, I'm going to give you rest. You just paddle on, you do your best, and, and when you need rest, I'm going to take care of you. And uh, kind of goes with my Bible study the other day, man. He, close, he closes people better than anything. And uh, closes them with, with grace and righteousness. And um, uh, we're not left out naked, and we won't be out seen out begging for bread, man. You belong to God, he's going to take care of you. He's going to use his people to do it. Uh, any other? Um, going to make some repairs on the trailer tomorrow, man. We got a one by. Uh, I'm going to repair my counter. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know how to flip it around once it started. So, so anyway, I'm going to. Uh, Repair this piece right here. Um, I got one one short broken board that that uh, is uh, affecting my whole countertop. So I'm uh, gonna fix that and uh, gonna fix my fenders so that so we can't um, ruin any more wheels or uh, slow us down anymore. You know, so I, at least so I don't have to worry. 
Uh, gonna make some hard fenders. Uh, we're thinking maybe some tan, some sheet metal, you know, thin sheet metal or something. Um, if not, wood would be fine, but I, 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 I just don't know what they're thinking. <clears throat> I don't know what they have in mind, and I'm not gonna argue as long as it works. <clears throat> Pardon me, little Mexican food coming to revisit. So, I'm glad you can't smell that. Um, sorry for being gross. Uh, let's see what else. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm almost halfway there. I'm so excited. Um, charging everything. I'm looking for my headlight charger. Can't find my headlight charger. So, Duncan Grigsby, if you get this, save me some effort. Uh, I'm going to keep looking until I, I find it. But I think I may have left it at Kim's house. So, um, I'm going to keep digging. It's going to be in there somewhere. I think I charged it once since I started, which is why I'm saying that. Um, anyway, but yeah, my headlight's on red. Um, charging everything else up. Well, I got. I actually have electric power, so I don't have to worry about the generator screaming at me all night. Uh, and the other thing is, this town's a little bit shadier than most. And it made me nervous uh, having my stuff outside. Um, I think the church is like a cut through for a lot of people coming through town. And I've seen a couple of uh, tweakers, which, man, I pray God gives me an opportunity to speak life to one. Um, I, I've had the, uh, an opportunity to wave to the same one two or three times. And I, listen, man, you, you, can't, you can't snow a snowman. <laughs> I've been a tweaker before, and I know what it looks like. And uh, he needs Jesus, man. He needs somebody to just love him, love him and, and uh, tell him the truth. You know, uh, the funny thing about being a tweaker is you don't think anybody knows, and it is so obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma might know, but other tweakers, you ain't hiding it. So anyway, um, trailer rolled into town fine. I'm liking the 20-inch wheels. We're gonna, probably going to get another, I'm going to go by the recycle center here and get another set um, that are a bike shop, and um, <clears throat> they're a lot tougher, man. That's, that's what I needed. They're a whole lot tougher. They're working out for me. They're pink, but I don't care. Uh, pink and black works for me, man. I, I'm, I'm not here to look pretty. Um, weather, man. The weather is going to be bad until Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning should clear up. Uh, it, at least go down to some more, way more manageable rain chances of like 20%, something like that. Um, it's cold. It's uh, 40 degrees during the day. Uh, uh, lows. I don't know what the lows are going to be, but hey, man, we're in North Texas. It's supposed to be cold, so um, going to keep growing the beard. Going to grow the beard until I get there. Uh, maybe, maybe by the time I get there, Beto can braid it for me if I have more weather stops. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't worry, Beto. We're shaving it off. We're going to make it look good. I might do like one of them really cool, you know, skinny Mexican beards or something. I don't know. Think about it. Um, that's it, man. Uh, I hope landing place of Mark, Mark Hardegger, I've been praying for you. Chad, man, I was really praying for you this morning. Uh, starting your Exodus series. Uh, guys, you should go to uh, uh, Freedom Life Church in uh, Bowie, Texas. Look it up. Uh, freedomlife.net, I think. Freedomlifechurch.net. I forget. But look it up. Uh, that sermon, that first sermon in his Exodus series ought to be available soon. And uh, I bet you money it's good. Uh, last week was really good. The church is really good. The people are great. Um, man, whatever you're going through, God's with you. If you just, uh, one of the things we talked about tonight in Bible study, we were in, in Hebrews. Um, you know, in Hebrews, it talks about how we can come to God without the shame because of what Christ did. And uh, one of the things that I wish I had added, um, and I had the thought in my head and somehow got sidetracked. It's Matt Beck, though. I'm always sidetracked. Uh, but the great thing about having your shame removed, man, if you read the Genesis story, Adam and Eve, first thing they did, as soon as shame hit them, they hid from God. And uh, that's why he took our shame. That's why he removed our shame from us. And so that we really can, now that we're our own royal priesthood, that we can come, that we can go straight to the Father. The veil is ripped and we can go right into the Holy of Holies. Uh, in reality, we are the Holy of Holies. He lives in us. Um, but uh, the, the reason he took our shame away is so that we could, would come to him. Because with shame, we want to hide ourselves. So, you know, it's a, come on. We all know that. You know, when, you, when your child is guilty and they're full of shame, they're going to hide from you. And in the Genesis story, when they were uh, guilty, even though they didn't know if God knew what they did, uh, or, you know, even before they knew 
God knew what they did, however you want to put it, they were hiding. And that's why he took our shame. So we wouldn't hide from the very one who loves us and would help us and heal us uh, and take away our sins. So uh, anyway, so don't forget that, man. God took your shame. Don't, be, don't, 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 don't take it back. Don't hang on to it. Man, get rid of the shame. Go straight to God. Ask for forgiveness. Repent. Don't, don't do it anymore and he'll give you the power. The power. Anyway. Uh, they don't mean to be silly when I'm talking about the Word of God, but I'm convinced God has a sense of humor too. Um, you might see my stuff thrown out about the the uh, barn here. I'm uh, repacking. I don't know why. I like to repack every time I stop. So just a just a thing I do. It it makes seems to make me feel better and it seems to make the trailer roll better and look for I get to look for stuff I haven't found in a while. Uh, mainly that light charger. I'm thinking it might be way down in the can goods. Uh, which, uh, y'all pray for Sophie. I bought her a whole case of kibbles and bits, canned food, and she didn't seem to, she seems to love to eat it, but she didn't seem to keep it down very good. So, um, we've been through, I don't know, four or five cans and she's puked twice. So, yeah, I might, might swap that out for something else or call kibbles and bits or something. But uh, the other thing is, I do kind of let her gorge on it because... I'm gonna throw away what she doesn't eat, so I'll let her eat all she all she wants, and uh, might be that it might just be too much for her. But anyway, love you guys. Keep me in your prayers. I'll do the same. My prayer list just keeps growing with awesome people. Uh, people like Stephanie uh, Post and Jeremy Post, uh, uh, Chad Word, uh, uh, Travis, and man, I mean, just the list just keeps growing and growing and growing and growing. There's there's more on that list. Don't get me wrong. Um, and if I didn't mention your name, it doesn't mean you're not important. I'm just trying to be quick about this. Um, I was just saying good night, man. Good night. I'm going to have a good night. Sorry y'all are getting this late. Um, um, God's in control, man. Every time I get fearful, uh, I just go ahead and keep stepping and God ends up like, uh, paving the path as I go and paving it well. Um, and getting this plan for your life and uh, expect great things expect him to make provision for you expect for him to uh, protect you and protect that plan and uh, expect for him to provide for you in Jesus name we pray Amen.